Hi everybody. Recently I posted a video of me reading one of our favorite books in the classroom, The Rhyming Dust Bunnies. Today I wanted to show you some follow-up activities that you can do to make your own dust bunnies. So we're going to do some watercolor dust bunnies and I typically work with pre-kindergartners and in our class, we use a thinking pen to do a lot of our documenting whenever we're doing science projects or art projects. So we use watercolor paper and our thinking pen is to put the outline of our drawing or our observations onto the paper. We don't necessarily use this to color it in, but maybe a few little details. So we would just, in this case, we would just draw the outside of our dust bunny. There's no really right or wrong way to do our dust bunny because it's kind of a dusty blob. Um, and then I am using watercolors. If you don't have liquid watercolors at home, they're really easy to make by using food coloring. Um, you can just take a little bit of food coloring. Actually, I like to use a lot of food coloring because, you know, I think more is more. But the more you use, the deeper your color. And if you're conserving food coloring or any of your paints, not a problem. Just use a couple squirts and then just add a little bit of water. And now you have watercolor paints. So I have made a few here. I spread them out using pipettes. Uh, these are great little fine motor tools. But if you don't have pipettes, a straw will work. I have some regular straws right here. You just put the straw in there, hold it with the finger, your finger on top, and drop it on the paper. Uh, then you're going to use the straw. <clears throat> Once you put the color all over, just put a generous amount all over your paper. And then you're going to use the straw to blow the color around. You can turn your paper, give it a lot of good, strong blows. When you're done, just let it dry, and then you can use your scissors to cut it out. Um, you can draw the face features on there. You can draw eyes or glue on eyes. Um, you can add any kind of details you would like, and also you can stick them on a stick and come up with some rhyming words that they would use. Now, if you don't have a pre-K at home and you have a uh, younger child, then there are varying ways you can do this. You can forego the Sharpie if you don't want to give your two-year-old a Sharpie pen. You can use your watercolor and they can just squirt the paints right on the paper and they can blow through the straw. Or they can even just tip the paper, as long as you're doing it over a tray. Tip the paper back and forth and watch how the watercolors sort of run all over the paper. Um, if you have an even younger child and you don't even and you don't really want them working with the uh, watercolors directly, um, you can use a Ziploc bag. I just put the paper inside the bag. And then I dropped in the watercolor into the bag. And then I sealed the bag up nice and tight. You can use uh, packing tape, duct tape, if you really want to put a good seal up there. And then just let them smush the water all around. Uh, when they're done playing with it, they can Squish it, smush it, wrinkle it even. Um, when they're done, just take it out, let it dry, and they've got themselves a dust bunny. You can mix colors in there. You can put one color, mix up colors, see what happens when you mix the two colors together. The red and the green sort of got kind of an auburny color. Not very pretty, but any colors works. Um, so a lot of fun. You can um, change this activity up for uh, any of the ages and uh, if you don't have watercolor paper again, cardstock works, any paper really works. Um, it's just most, mostly 
so that when you're doing this activity, you are talking with your kids, asking them questions like, what kind of words did the dust bunnies use to rhyme? Um, what colors were the dust bunnies? What shapes do you think you see in your art project? Uh, any conversation, wherever they go, go there with them and just ask them, keep asking them questions and see where the conversation takes you. If they have other ideas, like they want to sprinkle something on top, like glitter, I love to put salt on top of my watercolor um, paper is one. The salt uh, absorbs some of the extra paint and it also adds a really glistening kind of effect to the paint. So um, again, if they want to experiment, go for it. Keep the, keep the activity going, keep the conversation going and have a great day.